What's up guys, it's your boy Brick, coming at you with another video. I've got a real special one today. Uh, you might have seen videos floating around of people buying boxes off of the dark web, mystery boxes to be specific. I personally spent 25 shekels on this box, alright? That's for those, you know, unknowledgeable of how much a shekel is worth. Look in your pocket, you might, some, you might find some pocket lint. Just grab that out of there, that's about what it's worth. Alright, so I got this shipped to me. Uh, don't be confused. It says Office Max, but I can uh, I can reassure you right there on the front that this came from the dark web. And uh, there's some ominous writing there. I killed a child, but um, I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure we'll figure out what that means, but I'm not sure what that means. It's pretty uh, it's pretty cryptic. You know, dark web stuff, real scary. Don't do this at home. All right, so I'm gonna be really careful with this. I'm gonna go into it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna dig down deep into this box, and we're gonna see what's inside. Oh yeah, and we've got my buddy Squirrel here with me today to uh, help analyze the goods and make sure that I'm not raped. I'm a little scared. I might trip a bomb or something. ISIS might have sent this package. Inside of the box, I'm afraid of what that might be. This is from the dark web, after all, so it could be anything. All right, so I've got a few things inside of the box. All right. We're gonna pull them out. We're just gonna do. It. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna pull a couple of things out, just randomly out of the box. It is a box. It is a whole box. You can see it there. It's, a, it's, a, it's an actual box from the dark web. This is a dark web box, and that makes it special. All right, so the first thing we have is a crumpled up and used napkin. Now, Squeal, what do you think about this uh, this item here? It's very strange that he would send me a crumpled up used napkin. Uh, there's not any residue on the napkin, is there? Traces of semen, saliva? No, 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 it's pretty dry, actually. It's. I might use this for my next meal. Tuck it into my shirt like this. You know? What do you think? New style? Is this good? Maybe you look like Paul himself. Nah. You're nuts. Do you think this is what he wears? Do you think he just like yeah. takes this off and just rubs it on his nipples a little bit? It, it, I mean, it is a little crusty. It's 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 pretty. It's dry, but it's a little crusty. Um, maybe, maybe it was for like a little bit of under under boob sweat. Yeah, sponge it off for sweat. There you go. That's PO management, keeping it to a minimum. I'm keeping that. That's that's a keeper. That is. Very strange. Very strange indeed. But it's a keeper. Alright, so the next thing I find inside of the box is some personal care trademarked ice cold analgesic gel. So, this item here is. <coughs> it might be anthrax, dude! I might die! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's, that's nice and fresh and minty, actually. Hold on. That's nice. That's nice. He might have used this to, uh, to lube up his, uh, his finger, of course, to slip into those cracks. You know, those tight cracks. For tight cracks and hard to get into spots, lube up with ice cold analgesic gel. Uh, that's a weird item, right, Squill? That's uh, strange. Oh, if you ask me, I think I think the clue was in the name. You think? The... 
Mm -hmm. Cheese or jelly? Oh my god, squeal. You might be onto something, man. We're cracking the fucking code. Analgesic, so you can anal squeeze it in there. We're cracking the code, man. Alright, so we've just got so many items in here. I'm just I'm racking my mind for what to pick up next. We got a crusty sock as the next item in the box. This is a. Uh, smells like sweat, fermented semen, anger, depression. That's a. Uh, that certainly is a crusty sock. Now, I think that he may have used this to strangle a child. I think what he first did was wadded it up and then shoved it in the child's mouth. It's got a little bit of hair there. So check out that hair. You see that? That's nice. It's a nice thick hair. We'll keep that you know, in case we need to call the police. That's DNA evidence. Put that to the side. All right. The next thing. A receipt. An old receipt. He shipped something via USPS for fifty nine sixty four. This particular receipt was dated August seventh of twenty eighteen. Do you think that could have been the murder date? Do you think Paul might be a murderer? What do you think he shipped in the mail? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, if Paul is indeed a child murderer, which, uh, you know, who wouldn't trust a box you get off the internet? It oh, says no. it itself. The next thing we have? small blister pack of aspirin they say non-aspirin but I'm, I'm not fooled I'm not fooled by the non-aspirin it's aspirin might be drugs now that I think about it this did come from the deep web I need to investigate small white pills similar to aspirin Similar, similar in texture to aspirin. That's aspirin. That is a very strange item to send me. It is a small blister pack with two pills inside. It's not drugs, so don't worry. I'm not gonna die. Not yet. So let's dig in here. What else have we got? We have. Crumpled sweet and sour sauce pack from McDonald's. He obviously dipped the child that he killed into sweet and sour sauce. We're hot on this trail. This is basically like the adventure of a fucking lifetime. Sweet and sour sauce? Let's crack this open. It smells like sweet and sour sauce. It also smells like. I'm getting a faint hint of juvenile blood. I'm beginning to think Paul might actually be a murderer, and that he actually killed a child and dipped his ligaments and toes into sweet and sour sauce before he chowed down on every delicious and juicy bite of that child. Let's put that to the side. The next thing we have is two employee game pieces to Monopoly. Now I remember when this game was going on at my local grocery store, I didn't win shit. This game fucking sucked. But you know what? Since he's been uh, kind enough to send these, maybe we're true winners. 
Why don't you say? What do you say, Squeal? Why don't? Should I open them? You've come this far. I've come this far. Go ahead. Try your luck. All right. can enter a code to see if I've won anything. There's the code. There it is. Okay, let's let's open up the second one. What a pal. He's landed me 50 cents off a bag of Pepperidge Farms goldfish crackers. He might not be such a bad guy after all. Well, let's keep digging. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? I think this is the finger condom used in the crime. Let's see if the shoe fits. It does. I think he held it just like this and then dipped a little bit in the sweet and sour sauce of the analgesic gel. Just dipped his finger in there. He got it all lubed up just like this. And then right into that tight little hole. Nice and lubed up with sweet and sour sauce. With his finger. I believe this may be the DNA evidence we need. A crusty finger condom. The next thing we have was the vine sauce deodorant that he may have put on right after he killed the child to get the smell of fart and cookies off of him that we know every child has lingering on them. As you can see, it is partially used. This is a very scary product. I'm tempted to smell it. To smell what it smells like. It smells like armpits and uh, fresh wintergreen mountains. It's a little scary. Next, oh man, I might be holding the murder weapon in my hands. Crusty old scissors. Now, they don't have any blood on them. But don't be confused. It's well known that if you stab a child upward, straight through the jugular, there's a small point there. Gee, if you hit it just right, the child dies, lets out a guttural scream, but doesn't release any blood from his body. It's the stealthiest way to take down a child, and I'd tell you how to do it, but then I would land myself a one-way ticket to jail. I might get to meet Bubba with this analgesic gel. And I don't think anybody wants that. What are you thinking, Squill? How far have we come in this investigation of the definitely from the dark web box? Listen, I'm a YouTuber. I, I only preach the truth. I would never lie to you. This is definitely a dark web box that I spent 25 shekels on. 25 whole shekels. 25 entire shekels, Squeal. Confirmed. I got a little bit of sweet and sour sauce on my hand. Alright, this is the next thing. I believe this is what he lured the child in with. Old, crusty, moldy, dippin' dots gumballs. Now these, I believe, may have been delicious at least a year ago. At least. He lured the child in with these, to which the child took one. I believe his tooth may have popped from his skull, causing him immense pain and putting him into a sense of shock, where Paul, our killer, took advantage of him. Yeah, seriously, I'm not going to eat these. These are crusty as fuck. They're gross. down to the last couple of uh, items here to which we have the next few items these may have belonged to the child I believe that the child may inhabit one of these items 
course, there is one more item in here. A sleeping Tamagotchi. Perhaps the Tamagotchi is sleeping to simulate the child's rested soul inside of the ground. Because whoever he is, is dead. However, when he wakes up, I'll give you an update. Let's turn the light on. An even better sign. He's not only dead, but he shit himself. A sign of a dead child. As you know, when you die, you, eva you evacuate your bowels. This poor child. Let's turn the light off. Put that to the side. I believe that maybe he held these things very near and dear to him. So we'll, we'll keep them safe. Next to the sweet and sour sauce. Now here is our sponsor for this week, Just Water. If you need a, a good thirst quench, just dig in and have a sip. Just Water is only water. Don't be confused. There's no chemicals, no byproducts, and no flavors. It's just water. All right, we're moving on from, uh, from our sponsor for this week. Thank you, Just Water. I really appreciate you guys sponsoring the channel. Uh, it's great. I, I I barely make nickels on the dime, and I really needed that sponsor. So thank you. Your your water is uh, my favorite, and it's delicious. Okay, we're putting that to the side. The next thing we have is a cherry limeade frosty bottle cap. Since 1939, it is believed cherry. Frosties were made from child's blood. The cherry part is the child's blood. And Soylent Green, as we all know, is people. What do you think about cherry limeade Frosties, Squill? How do you feel about this product here? I think it's the beverage of a killer. It might be the beverage of a killer. You may be right. The next thing we have, ooh, some some gum. I may have made my 25 shekels worth. Oh, Paul. Paul, you dick. Look at this. He chewed up half the stick of gum and just left it wadded up on the stick. What, what an asshole. Fuck you, Paul. Paul's definitely a murderer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the, the quarter of it and just throw the other half away. Okay, I, I, I'll salvage it. You can't let you can't let gum go to waste, unless it's crusty ass, fucking dipping dots. We have what I believe may have been the last thing that this child ever read: how to survive the Sharknado. Let's take a quick read of any passage in this book. Cuddly Killing Machines. Apparently a boar cane is a thing. So if you uh, encounter a boar in a hurricane, or a robo rock, or a shark, watch out. And as we all know, this book, published by Sci-Fi, is the best book ever written about how to survive a Sharknado. It's absolutely crucial for survival in the wild. Perhaps the child was on his way to run away from home, or simply to build a log cabin and live as his ancestors did. And good on him for bringing the best survival book that you could possibly bring to survive in the wild. 
you absolutely need to know. And if you don't have a copy yourself, and I mean I do now because I paid 25 shekels for it, but if you don't have a copy yourself, go out and get one. It's absolutely necessary. I'm surprised they didn't own it until now. But now that I'm looking at it with my eyes, I can I can safely decide that this is the best survival book. Squeal, have you read the the book here in question? As a matter of fact, no. No, I haven't. Well then, when sharks are flying at your head at 300 miles per hour, how will you survive? The question for the ages. Get this book, Squeal. Right, we're down to the last four items in this box. One is a fidget spinner. Now, I believe this may be a symbol. Now, I've done my math. As you see, a fidget spinner has three prongs. Three times one times 13 small ball bearings inside divided by zero fun to be had equals zero life left in that child because he's dead I believe Paul game ended our child truly tragic truly tragic what are your thoughts on fidget spinner squeal how do you feel about fidget spinners could it be that it is the symbol of a child murdering cult? That could be it. Like, like another triangular cult that has an image with three prongs. It might be Illuminati. And convoluted mathematical equations. Squeal. I think we might be digging too deep, man. We might be digging too deep. We're going to put that to the side. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the child's face. Stretched out over a book. This is real skin that I'm touching, people. Don't be confused by its shiny gloss. This is real skin. It's well known that when a child dies and its skin is stretched out, that it becomes almost paper thin and glossy. This is truly scary. And the man had the audacity to make a notebook out of the child. Oh. Fuck. I need to put this down, man. It's scaring me. It looks like we have a flash drive here and it's got a label on it it says child murder what do you think on the flat what do you think's on the flash drive squeal well, it I could be a table. confession a confession you might get to see Paul himself oh my god all right I've taken the label off I'm going to plug this in. Now if I, by some chance, go offline, please call the cops. I might be getting malware and giving Paul my direct location, which is why you kids do not do this at home. It is scary and it is beyond risky. Alright guys, this is real, authentic, dark web box. Paul said so himself. I'm plugging it in. I'm gonna open the file. Whew, fuck. All right. It's just got a, a folder. It's just got a folder that's labeled "I killed a child." And what's in the folder? Oh God, it's a Windows Media Player video. All right, let's let's open it and take a look. What is this? Uh. Hi. My 
Jenny's paw. And I killed a child. Oh my god, he admitted to it. Look at the fucking... Look at this madman. He's concealing his identity with this paper mask, but you can see his cold, dead eyes. This is truly scary. I need to... What's the last thing in this box? I can only see part of it. It's hidden. It's hidden under the cardboard. Oh my sweet god. It's Paul's mask. It's Paul's mask. I feel strangely allured to it. Hi, it's me, Paul. Back again. To kill another child. See you on the other side, boys. 